peaceful. No, I right? had a guy tell me that though. Like I got everything. Like the, the money, the car. The, like I just bought a crib. Like I got everything. Yeah. But he he checked me. Like he got me together. And he don't have anything. He like I'm more happy than you are. He like oh I have nothing. You have everything, and you still not happy. But the, the, and and that's true. That's true as fuck. But like. And yeah, I appreciated him for that because it's a lot of shit that I was going through that I didn't even have to be going through. And he was trying to make me see that. Like, you know, you got everything. Like, what the fuck is you mad for? But I, it's, it's, it's only certain <laughs> lessons in which you can learn by hitting bottom. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, like, when you got everything, you kind of you, you, you kind of value shit the wrong way. Like, you get me? So, at this point in time, I didn't hit bottom because I had this going on. I didn't hit this because I had this. I got money, so you really don't feel a burden of that. I want the band. So, you tend to value the wrong shit. Like, you get me? And, you like, you contribute certain things like that towards your happiness. But, like, when you, when you, when you broke, you appreciate the riches right. compared to already having the riches. Mm -hmm. And it show you, like, my, my most fun I had in my life is when we outside playing it. Yep. Neighborhood it, ripping and running. Like, we, we, ain't, ain't, okay, ain't nothing, yeah. ain't nothing yeah. you could tell me that was better than that. Like, we, yeah. we ain't had the words of this. Right like, I, I, I ain't yeah. had to get drunk to do it. Yeah. I ain't had to pregame. I ain't had to do nothing. It was just a pure, like, all right, who all outside? Put your put your foot in this circle. You yeah. know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, -uh I, I get to do it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that, that right there is the purest joy in itself. So happiness belong to you joy belong to you so when it when it come down to like let's say he said about what love and happiness yeah. i might not have love but this love and this joy is mine yeah. like i i can that's like right. and yeah. that's when he speak on energies because you can come in and you can take my energy mm. yeah like so the vibe got to be right because i got this joy then i'm i'm wondering why i'm fighting myself just because you so evil when i look at you like damn it like a project like nah but i see all this potential like let me put some of this happiness I got towards you. Like, let me, yeah. let, 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 let me, let me lift your day. Yeah. And then all you doing is siphoning and siphoning and siphoning and siphoning to the point where you feeling good. But I got a fucking attitude because the whole time I've been you sitting here putting all this. You get me? So, now so, you empty. Let right. me, let me, let me ask you this. Oh, shit. So, so, so question, right? So I want to make sure I'm understanding the situation before I make my comment, right? So the situation is, you know, you have a car, you have a house, whatever. This individual didn't have anything, but he's telling you why are you mad? Mm -hmm. Because you got everything, right? Mm -hmm. That's the situation. Yeah. Okay. So I think one we gotta find define what is I got everything. Mm -hmm. What is that? He was just saying that I had all the means, all the tools, right, to be happy. Right. Like I, I have all these different type, all these resources. Yes. All, you know, I had to him, I had it all. Like yes. I had everything. That's that the he, mistake, though. You don't need nothing. So, so let me say this. I'm going to take a caveat to that, right? Right, And people can say that, you know, you have everything or you got a nice job, you know, you got a nice car, you should be happy, you got everything. But the reason why you're not happy is because you understand that you deserve more. Mm -hmm. That's, right. that's your spirit is telling you that you deserve more. Mm -hmm. That's why you're not happy. Or it's right. just right. internal because the things, right. all the car, the yeah. job, the money. Like, like, like for me, like, Somebody may look at me and be like, yo, you got everything. You, you, you got real estate. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do whatever you want, whatever, the finest, do whatever you want. But for me, that's not enough for me. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Like more, I'm, like I'm not happy mm -hmm. because yeah. I know I deserve more. Right. But separating complacency from happiness, though. You right. You've got to. You got but to. Like that, yeah. But that's you got what to. I want you to do because I'm, tr I'm, I'm really trying to understand it. So, like, e even though I got the means to do everything, yes. I got all this going on, yep. like, Happiness is something totally separate. Like yes. you get what I'm saying. So I'm trying to figure out. Me being happy don't mean like oh I don't want more for myself. Exactly. I'm yeah. not striving to do yeah. better. It's exactly. just like right now, come what may. Like you get what I'm yep. saying. In this situation, I, like half the time when it come with happiness, it's it's how you like set your values. Like so, I came from that old fashioned family where they'd be like, you breathing. Mm -hmm. You walking, right. you got the ability of your limbs. You like w once you got like oh, a lot of old people around you drilling that shit. Like it don't make sense then, but then you start valuing it because exactly. you pull up to the life. you pull up to the light and you see this this one nigga this one leg nigga scrolling past with his cup and you be like shit. I'm glad that ain't me. You feel mm -hmm. me? And, and and it put everything like in perspective. Yeah. You feel me? And then you can focus on like your happiness a little bit better. But that don't mean I, I don't. I think happiness, like I think a lot of times, because I, I don't, I don't feel like you know how much you have should determine like your happiness. Cause I feel like it's a quote that says, "If you don't, if you don't want what you got, you won't want what you get." 
You know what I'm saying? Look at Kate Spade. Huh? Kate Spade. Yeah. For example, yeah, yeah, she committed suicide. Yeah, she committed suicide. Yeah. You know, so, mo- billionaire. I, I think happiness is a is a decision, not a destination. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't get I to like a that. place where you be happy. Like, you decide. Like, yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever, whatever is going on right now, I value. Like, like I mean, all the examples y'all giving is perfect. Like, wealth came by health. Steve Jobs died at the peak of fucking Apple. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it's like motherfuckers really gotta yeah. appreciate. Yeah, you got you got to look at it like this: the bar you just dropped. Was the realest thing that I heard, and I heard it before you. The place that I heard it, I got a little brother that's doing thirty six years. He tell me this. He like, bro, I'm good. Mm. Ha- happiness ain't a destination. Like you gave me, so I, I'm sitting here on the outside, like pressed, like about all this little shit mm. that I got to deal with. Where well, this man only get out for that little hour. Mm. So I, I got my full freedom. I can wake up, slide and glide, beat up these blocks, however I want to. And he he just drops some knowledge that just puts shit in perspective for me. Right. So like. It really don't matter where you at. Like it's it's just more so when it come to love. That's why I agree to it. It's like you find the love from within. Like you get what I'm saying. Like that's really half the time you can't find the love on the outside because you truly don't like being happy with yourself. Yeah, like you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you gotta really love yourself because half the time, like you got girls that got everything until they get in that fucking mirror. Mm-hmm. 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 Once you get in that mirror, you get to break it down. Oh, called this right here. This, the, 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 a nigga, a nigga could tell you why you in the mirror. Like, baby, you look so good. I mean, I'm just saying, like, uh, yeah. Right, so, so don't yeah. Uh, don't underplay my motherfucking compliment because I wish right. you see what I see, type of thing. You get me? Right. But hey, so about well, with this whole dating thing, being happy, you know what I'm saying? You was in a situation where you say he had everything, you had nothing. Purposely. How yeah. does that play into you know what I'm saying? Like dating somebody who doesn't have what you have? Could you date somebody who? Know how it makes less money, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be the man, the man making more money, the woman being making more money. Have y'all been in either situation? I feel like you can. I mean, okay, so I feel like you can, but it's definitely hard. Mm-hmm. So right, like right now, I ain't broke, like so it ain't like a situation you're gonna be like a female, like yeah, I'm, I'm dating this broke ass nigga. <laughs> but you, then you, you got a girl who got her, her means, she got everything. So you right. you can see like so let's say the shell remain nameless. Uh she got this, got that, you feel me? All the little designers, that's what she see fit. That's the shit that get get her going, you get me? But as far as financially, she that. The only problem is when you stand on your certain manhood. Like you get me? So like if she used to the spoils of life, dating become complicated. Yes. Mm-hmm. So if I try to take it to some place, like, yeah, you feel me? I'll be like, let's slide to David Buster's. Now, you telling me, like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not really, like, yeah, you know, yeah. that type of girl. Like, we can we, we can do this, that, and the, you feel me? So now you're exhausting too many resources trying to maintain mm-hmm. her level of living. You get me? So yeah. that would be, like, the major class to this shit. Like, so do, do that mean, like, throw her away because I'm not financially stable. Yeah, I don't think it means throw away, but you guys wouldn't have any longevity, I don't think. I don't think. I blame that shit on the internet. I like the internet. Uh, <laughs> For real, like, they just, this image, like, everybody got to keep up this image. Like, yeah. oh, I'm expensive. Oh, I got this. I got this. That's what the vibes they come in. They ain't got anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I don't honest. like that. Like, I want to I wanna, I wanna have money. I don't want to look like I have money. Exactly. I want to actually have money. And that's yeah. what a lot of females, and I... I feel like men gravitate toward those females. It's both. Though. Yeah, it's, it's men, men and females. Too. But it's like, I, I want to actually have it. I don't it's just, just want to look like I have like it. It's just like, how everything, I just don't like it. Like, yeah. everything is just Like she said, fish. she got the yeah. person, she got this, she got that, she she good. But she can't go to David. If I like you, we going wherever you want to go. And it's like, I don't care about that. Ready. I could hey, wear but, a $10 uh, dress that, that's what dress. Re- that's what dress dress really depicted, matter. though. So, like, uh, half the time, like, let's say, I mean, I I like a certain type of female, so I'm, I'm going to go for it. So they tend to already have this shit, but you, you, you got women willing to sacrifice. They'll meet you where it is. Like, trust and believe I had women with this, that, and third going on, fucking with this type of that nigga, but they sliding over there to the hood. You feel me? It's, it's your vibe. You get me? You, 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 yeah. got, you, got, you got certain females where she talking about, I only want to eat this. And I'm like, baby, we can grab this four for four. You feel me? I upgrade your shit to a strawberry lemonade. We we can <laughs> <laughs> we can chill over here. So like, it's to each his own. But like, I really feel like any woman that stand on certain principles of like monetary means, 
Like she not really fucking with you to that level. So that that'll be my yeah. only clarity. That's to definitely it true. I, because if I'm feeling you, it's like I'll go for stuff that I didn't even think I would go for. Yeah. But I'm feeling you, okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm good with that because I, I think it only could become like an issue. Because I I've dated a um a chick that was like a lot older than me and not only did she have more than me, she was dating a nigga who had way more than both of us. Mm-hmm. So but she was like fucking with me like on the side and then they fell off and like I was a side nigga. I was a side. Yeah. But it was cool, though. She was, like, old as hell, though. She was old as hell. Um, so it was cool, but, like, you know, she was... Everything was, like, cool. Like, she didn't get no fuck. Like, she would take me somewhere super nice. And I, the thing was... The problem was me. I ain't like her paying for me to do shit. I didn't... Mm-hmm. That was the big problem. That's that she didn't mind, me. like, taking me... But at the same time, I could take her to Fun Time Square. She'd be like, shit, I never did this shit before. Because it's yeah. different. I grew up because way it's different. Massive. It's like, you know exciting. what I'm saying? So... Um, but it came up. I think it becomes a problem when let's say y'all want to live together, right? I, as a man, I'm not living nowhere that I can't afford to pay for everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if I if I got it, it's one thing if you, I ain't splitting the bill, but as far as the household, but at the same time, like if we live somewhere where I can't do it, you know what I'm saying? Or we gotta go half and half. If you fall off, I can't cover it. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's where like. The real issue come in because I ain't like chicks already had they little they little runs with their attitude. Imagine you standing under her house under her roof. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Like it's it's, it's a real that. controlling Christ. type of factor. Like, like yeah. I couldn't do it. Have y'all I, been put out I, before? Be the breaking point. Y'all been put out before? No, nah, you ever stayed with a woman and been put mom? out? No, nah, you get me. That's, 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 about, the, that's about the only person that'll put me out because I'm not finna go into a situation where you can't mm-hmm, put me out. Right. Like, you feel me? That but that, but that, that, go, that go with the women, though. Like, the women, y'all not gonna be in no situation without some type of this because y'all need the security of right. They will. They will. They will. They will. Maybe not look, these two, but they will, though. They yeah, it's the difference between they girls and women, yeah. though. You get me? Absolutely. Exactly. It's exactly. a difference between Absolutely. girls and women. It's a difference between girls and women. You're right about that. Have your, even an example. Right. You go on a date with a guy. Don't go on a date without no money. Yeah. Right. What if that date go left? Yeah. 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 Say it again. Say it loud. Say that shit closer to the mic. <laughs> I'm going to make that a highlight. <laughs> Say that shit again. If you go on a date with a guy, this is what I was taught. You don't go on a date broke. Like, you got to right. have some money when you go on a date. Don't just right. go. But now they making it a thing, this forty dollar thing all over the internet. Oh, bitch, want forty dollars? This and this. Yeah, forty dollars ain't shit. It ain't really. It right. ain't shit. They making a joke out of it. That's nothing. But but the the more controversial thing is like how y'all feel about like people shooting for fifty fifty partnerships. Like you get what I'm saying? Like because I come from like I want to pay for it. Right. I, I, we we going out. This what it is. Mm-hmm. This what I want to do. I want to be in a situation where you don't have to worry about nothing. But then you got certain niggas that be like, man, you know, at least like I, would not I do this you. one time, you you do the next time. You like, you get what I'm saying? Just like me to 50 50, not necessarily on the rent, like, because I, I still want that control factor. Like, you right. get yeah. me? Like, the man and me, I can appreciate your opinion. I want to build off from your opinion, but you're not going to dictate how I need to move. And I mm-hmm. feel like I need to tuck my tail because I ain't got right. no say so. You get me? Right. That's the difference but, between a man and a boy. Right. Yeah. So exactly. I just feel like if you, if we going out all the time and you paying for it, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do something for you. I'm gonna take you out. Right. Take you I somewhere. definitely don't feel like that. If we talking about dating if like we that, we fucking with each other. I'm not. He got to pay every time. He got no. Pay. No, that's just not how it works. Like y'all fucking with each other. Y'all in a relationship. Mm. So I just feel like no, you do not have to pay all the time. Let me take you out somewhere. Got mm-hmm. you guys. But yeah, I still ain't really with the fifty fifty. I don't like it fifty fifty. But at the same time, that's tough because like I think with um. And I, I, I check myself on this shit all the time to make sure I'm not... I never want to be a controlling nigga. Mm-hmm. But I think a lot of niggas who provide a girl lifestyle, he pay for everything and all shit like that, it comes with some type of control. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, I ain't... fun. Like, you ain't finna tell me what you're not gonna do. And I, I'm basically paying for your whole exactly. lifestyle. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Or, but that's the thing. Women like that, they don't tell you. They don't say shit. I feel yeah. like that's... They don't. <laughs> I mean, I if know. you really... If you I, really vibing with a chick in my personal opinion you handicapping her if you, you know, pay for everything if, if you got to pay for everything yeah. you handicapping her how how are you teaching her how to manage her finances mm-hmm. right you handicapping her because you know you you have to me personally if we going to date i need you to have some stake in the game mm-hmm. period so, so you got to have some stake in the I, game i'm gonna tell you how i do it i'm gonna tell you how i do it real quick so i do it like this like if i'm with a chick and we stand together, like, so I, I'm already, like, got my own. So you moving in with me, yep. basically. So you moving in with me. Yep. So I'm paying for everything, like, bills and shit. I'm paying for everything. Mm-hmm. You the bank. Like, 
we gonna set up your account to where like you saving this much money. Yes. Because you don't pay for shit. And if like when I wanna go buy something big or invest in something, you're the fucking bank. Like you that bread better be there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause you ain't paying for shit else. It's and, like, not gonna be there. Huh? <laughs> it's not gonna be there. It's gonna be. Right. Oh, you're gonna God. be looking for it. It, it better be there. It's shit over with. <laughs> like but that that's that's how I would, you know what I'm saying set the situation up like she definitely gotta have some, it ain't like go crazy time because yeah. I'm paying for shit like you getting your nails done every other day and like nah that shit over with you know what I'm saying but I I definitely agree with what you're saying though I definitely agree with what you're saying it, it should it should definitely be some type of budgeting going on of like course. The, and what you're doing because mm -hmm. it's still a budget in providing for everything for you so like right. not not to mention I I had a conversation this lady sat there in my store for an hour. Explaining to me and breaking it down, like, well, she got a man that pay all the bills, do all this, do all that, but she feels as if she's not going on enough dates. She feels as if like he's not spoiling her enough. Mm -hmm. She she feels as if that he needs to take care of her car note as well. And because he's not doing these things, she say, well, I'm finna give me a little boyfriend on the side that can woo out the band. This Selfish love, right? Yeah. Me? So like. I look. At, I, I I sit there and break it down to. I'm like, man, you 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 got a man that's making sure you don't have to worry about nothing, paying paying all, all the bills, yeah. paying this, that, and the third. And based off his budget, he's really sacrificing mm -hmm. because if he can't do the spoils, but he willing to take care of all the bills. Like see, that's, that's, that's the only reason why he's not. Right. The only reason why he's not doing he it because he don't have it in the budget. <laughs> like you get what I'm saying? Right. So. Yeah, right. and, and and it's just all about her perspective. So like, exactly. one, so once I got to talk to her, it got to the point where I was done talking, and she just rambling on like, yeah, I need this, I need this, I need that, I need this. I basically told her real quick, I'm like, you a monster. And the reason I say you a monster is because any any given situation, if you ain't had him, you still have to take care of self. If you didn't have Period. this man, you have to self sustain. So like a lot of times, like if she you got that walking ATM though, for me it's if, like if this is this is me right. And I got my own perspective. And if we at the level of us dating, living together, whatever, every dollar I spend on you is an investment. Okay. Period. That's what makes niggas crazy while they're trying to keep Every you dollar that I spend on you is an investment. Therefore, I need to make sure that I'm getting a return on this money that I'm investing in you. Mm -hmm. Right? And when we talk about bills and how we pay our bills... My bills are not coming directly out of my personal pocket. And if we live in together, then you and I need to create an asset that will be able to fund and pay our bills through our business. And I think that's a concept that a lot of people overlook and understand is that it's not about what you're paying for everything. It's about something that we can create mm -hmm. that can fund our lifestyle and fund the way that we want to live so we can right. go on those expensive yeah. dates, right? That way it's not personally coming out of my personal mm -hmm. pocket because I got to get ahead too. Mm -hmm. Because you're the CEO of y'all relationship or y'all family and your wife or your girlfriend, your lady, she's the COO. She has to manage the operations and the man has to look. He's the visionary. He's the leader. He's thinking 10 steps ahead. So for me personally, Dang. it's all about what can we create together mm -hmm. that can fund the lifestyle that we want to live and until we do that, I'm sorry, but I can't meet your expectations. Mm -hmm. And as in fact, I am not the man for you, right? Because we always got to be thinking long term and thinking for long term jeopardy. But that's just my perspective. Mm -hmm. That's that's some this yeah. game though. That is. Jams. It really is. That's a highlight. <laughs> that's the highlight. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that, that, that's really the goal. So what what are some tips that you would give to like financially turn your relationship into a partnership into a business like? Taking on this, like, right? How, how does that starting from the first conversation of you dating this woman and you finna roll this out to like, look, this is a, a partnership, this is a business. I'm the CEO, you right. CEO, like. So there's somebody that I'm that, that I'm looking at, right? That's yeah. that I'm Scout, considering. Yeah. So I think we got to take a uh, take a deep dive into her mindset, right. her philosophies, her ways of thinking, and if she can't understand where I'm coming from, if she can't relate to me mentally then I'm going to just be talking a whole bunch of jibber-jabber that she ain't going to really care about. So it really all starts from a mindset perspective and her way of thinking. That has to change first. Wow. right? Once we change her mindset and understand that it's not about buying liabilities, but it's about buying assets, and most times, most times people don't know that they're buying liabilities because of the lack of knowledge and the lack of exposure to what we should be buying. 
right? I'm one of those guys where I'm thinking about everything that I buy. I'm managing my cash flow. I'm managing the money that's going out, and I'm managing the money that's coming in. So we really got to sit back and, one, look at the mindset first. Secondly, let's look at our financial statement together. Here's mine. Mm -hmm. Let's look at yours. So what are your expenses? You know, how, are you, how are you spending your money? How are you managing your money? And then let's figure out how we can create some assets, right, that's going to be able to manage that cash flow going in and that money going out. So for me, it's more so as mindset. All right, cool. Budgeting. All right, cool. Now that we budget, and what's the two-year, three-year plan? Can she stick to this? Right. Can she not stick to this? Do I need to develop her? Do I need to coach her? And she might need that coaching. But is she resistance to this coaching? Right. Right. If you're resistant, then I'm sorry, baby, but you're slowing me down. A burden. You're yeah. a burden. Yeah. You know, so I, I got to like get rid of you. Pimping right here. I, I, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. I, I, I got <laughs> to get rid of you because I got goals. Right. Right? And I'm trying to share my goals with you. And not only that, but I'm allowing you to add your goals to the picture so we can have goals together, right? right? But if your goals are not in direct alignment with where I'm trying to go mm -hmm. as the visionary of this family, then I'm sorry, but I'm not the man for you. And we have to sit back and understand that concept. And I think as men, we, we don't because some of us are more so interested in, in between the legs and not really thinking long term. Have you ever had to have that conversation? No. I haven't had to have that conversation. Um, I have, but not to the extent of where I'm at right now. Uh, I meant like, yeah, with a point where you kick it to the side. Like, uh, you ain't no, working. No, I've had know? that conversation where it's like, yo, like you be spending too much cash. Mm -hmm. Like, like, why are you buying that purse? Mm -hmm. Like, for what? what? What does that purse do for you? Mm -hmm. You spend $600 on a purse when you could have put, you know, some money in a book to, you know, show you how to create some money or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right? So... No, I, I haven't had that conversation yet. Mm -hmm. And I think primarily it's because I'm not on the market. Mm -hmm. Now, I was just curious as to me being a woman, how she, you know, how she took it or what she was the response. To or, right. She took offense they, they, they to it. They're going to take offense to it. Women going to take offense to it. Then I feel though. like she shouldn't have because, you know. I, it's, it's, I'm going to take offense to it, but then I'm going to think about Let's it's her yeah. lack of Let's maturity. That. That's what right. it is. I mean, you, you, that's, that's like one thing about it, you see it like change. Like one thing, the only thing I do believe, the only thing that you can change is how you approach a situation. Yes. Right? So I can present it, yep. but my goal is not to try to see if I can change your mindset. Exactly. Right. Like, so if, if, if it's presented and you don't like respect it, I'm cutting out. Like yep. So half the time that conversation is not going to happen because mm -hmm. once I give you that conversation mm -hmm. and I see your mindset – you cut without me saying like cut because That's if I true. if I was to say this, it's gonna lead to some type of backwards and forwards. Right. And now what I do start doing, I start giving you the answers what you need to like reply back to me mm -hmm. by saying like no, nah, but you don't understand this, you don't want the bam and this and da 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 da. So I'm giving you too much like ammunition to mm -hmm. kick it where I'm stuck in like a, a endless circle where I'm trying to help you get better, trying to change this. But I walked in the girl house like me like me and my situation. I walked in the girl house. I looked at her closet. I know a little bit about something, but I also looked. I'm like, in your closet, I see three buildings. Three buildings in which you could, you could have purchased and did everything with. Mm -hmm. She she looked, got stuck, and the, the conversation never Damn, resurfaced. Right. right. In her head. Conversation never resurfaced, but that that's this is someone who have the means. So, mm -hmm. like, I'm I'm used to a scratch and claw yes. out the, uh, you know, the, the situation you in type of mentality. Yes. Like, let, let's get it. Let's, like, let's, let me get this money and then we can do that. Mm -hmm. Yep. I look at her where you had this money and you decided to do to that, do that right? with so it. So that's that show mm -hmm. your mindset more than anything to me. Right. Yep. And, and then too, let me let me add on to that. You know, um it could be it could go both ways. It could be the man or it could be the woman, but he or she might change for you. Right? But when they change for you, that change is just temporary. Yeah. Right? They got to change for themselves it's, first. It's, one is it uh, adapting. They're adapting. Yes, to yes, you know what and, I'm and you know that person changed for you when hypothetically something go wrong and y'all separate and, and they, they go say back to living a lifestyle that they was living Same before thing. they met you. Yeah, but no even then, before no before the y'all break up, they gonna hit you with that. I tried. This, yeah, that, and I that. tried. Like they, they don't say it as a continuous motion. Yeah. They gonna say like I did that like as a one time. Like I literally appeased you on what you wanted. Just to say I did it. Yep. But now it's time to go back to what I'm doing because that shit ain't work. You feel? Yep. Me? So, yeah. absolutely, I agree. I think that I think that go into our last our last 